So today we're going to show you a really great beginner mobile hamstring stretch for the lower hamstring and the upper hamstring. Most people don't really understand how to isolate their hamstrings when they stretch, and they stretch all kinds of other stuff like the low back, which you don't want to do. So what Corey's going to do is just place his foot up on the chair. You can put it on a bench or, you know, really wherever is, whatever you have available. From this position, Corey's going to keep his back perfectly straight and bend from the waist. He doesn't want to round his shoulders or round his back to try and cheat and get further forward. That doesn't help you. Just go as far as you can with the back perfectly straight. That's how you're going to isolate your hamstrings. Now to make this mobile, he's going to move his foot slowly and gently from side to side. We're working the lower hamstring right now, the middle to the lower part of the hamstring. And what this will do is instead of just stretching the middle part of your hamstring, you're going to be able to stretch the lateral parts of your hamstring as well. Now, we can take this stretch and modify it a little bit to actually stretch the upper hamstring, which is an area that most people never stretch and it's really important. So all you have to do is bend the knee and then bend again the same way and then slowly move the foot from side to side and now you're going to get a full upper hamstring stretch medially and laterally. So this is a really great beginner hamstring stretch that will get you much more flexible in this area. Remember, you get the same stretch here as you do cheating and bending your, your back all the way down here. And if you bend your back like that, you're going to make your lower back more flexible, which is really going to put you at a much higher risk of a low back injury. You don't want your back to be flexible, you want it to be stable. You want your hamstrings to be flexible. And that's why the stretch is so critical.